Welcome back to my channel. So during today's video, I am going to be using the Menagerie Sugar Hill eyeshadow palette. This pretty, pretty, pretty bright colored eyeshadow palette. But I do know I want to dig into the pink and deep burgundy matte shades. I don't know if I'm going to use the shimmers today, but we'll see. But I definitely want to dig into the two deeper shades. So I've already primed my eyes and I've set them with a little bit of loose translucent powder so we're going to go ahead and get started now since the palette does not have a light uh, transition shade in here that i want to use um, i'm going to go in with my juvia's place the um, bronzed duo in medium and i'm going to take my bh number 12 brush and just take the um both of the shades together and just pop it right above the crease area and directly in my crease area and just pack it and build it to my liking and I actually used the palette one time before but my camera died on me and my memory card was full and I was like so upset because I wanted to share that look and it was so so pretty so i decided to use it again today and, I, and i'm gonna do that look again when i wear those colors it was the bright color it was so pretty but since i'm wearing dark colors today i can't go with those bright bright shades so we're gonna just keep it moving but like i said i do want to film that look again because it was like so pretty to me and i'm just going to continue to stamp this shade directly in the crease and right above the crease going up to my brow bone and the formula like was so so good I had no issues with the um formula it was really really nice and pretty so I'm gonna continue to build the shadow up to my brow bone for the deepness and a little bit more right in that crease area. And I love this brush. I don't even know if they sell this brush anymore. But I love this number 12 brush. I think I have another one somewhere. If my daughter didn't borrow it. <laughs> I love that girl so much. And my grandbabies. I just be rambling and be so random. But they are my. The light of my life. I love them. And no matter how old that girl gets, she's still my baby. And she'll be 27 next month. But she's still my baby. No, that has nothing to do with my video. <laughs> but now we're going to just blend the shadow. To make sure it's smooth on the lid. This is a nice palette for a transition shade. So now let's go in with the start of the show, my eyeshadow palette. So I think I'm going to take the, I don't know what I want to use. Let's see. We're going to start somewhere, don't we? Let's try to get this look moving so I can get out of here. Um, let's use the, I'm going to use the Morphe 433 brush. And I think I want to go in with Furry Friend and it's the last matte shade. It's like a magenta i'm gonna say magenta like a um deep maroon shade we're just gonna take that and pack it directly in the crease area and pack it a little bit more i'm using the tip of the brush so i can place it directly in that crease area I'm going to take like just the tip and then place a little bit more. Like I said, these are some good shadows in this palette. And if you have it, let me know your thoughts on it. If you purchased from the brand, um, it was really, really nice. Like I said, the look was so pretty. I'm going to pack a little bit more directly in the crease. I'm just lightly building it. 
because I try not to just pack so much on my eyelid to begin with. I like to slowly build my shadow so I can control how much I'm placing on my lid. That way I'm not sitting here blending for hours because it has happened to me. I'll sit here and just add it and add it and add too much and I'm sitting here blending for days. So I'm going to continue to place it directly in the crease. Now I'm not going all the way to the inner corner yet with this shade. I'm going to pack a little bit more. Concentrating most of it on that outer V area of the crease. And just going slightly up just a little bit above the crease but not too, too high. And I think my lighting's pretty good today. What I figured out was, and I think it happened before, I changed my my um mode on my lights in front of me. And they were like that next to the brightest white, more like a neutral type, yellowish. And I think that's why I was looking so orange on camera. And then I also turned off the lights ahead of me and I think that was contributing to the darkness as well because I did not like that okay but we're going to continue to just lightly and I'm still lightly building this shade and I am liking the placement of it it's like really really nice so I'm just making sure it's on the outer V I'm using the flat end of the, the flat side of the brush to just place the rest of it right there on that outer V area of the crease so we can get ready to blend so now I'm going to um, about to drop the palette take the same brush and we're just going to lightly blend the edges of the shadow in circular motions do the same thing for the other eye Just lightly blend and it's blending like so so good I like this I, I didn't use the matte shades in here I only use the shimmers when I used it but these matte shades are nice so we're gonna continue to blend and again I'm not going directly in my crease not my crease I'm sorry my inner corner just yet we're just going to continue to make sure this shadow is placed and blended to my liking. I'm just going to lightly blend it right in the outer V over into the center of the lid, lightly fluffing it. And I am liking this and making sure my edges again are blended. I like it. You know, and I've all, I'm always saying the same thing. The key to great eyeshadows is blend, 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 so you can't blend anymore. So now I'm going to take the uh, BH12 brush again, and I did not apply any more shadows just yet. And make sure, just packing what's left on here right above the crease area. Now I'm going to lightly blend those two shades together. And I like how soft and light it is, but it's still pigment there, but it's really soft and nice. So I'm going to go back in with this 433. We're going to take a little bit more of the shade and place it right in the crease area. More so on the lid. So we can have that deepness going right in that crease. Now I'm not going up above it this time, like right in there, and more so on the lid and the outer V. I am liking this a bit more. I 
Ooh, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm <laughs> y'all get tired of me saying when I like something, you really gonna know because I'm gonna keep saying I like it. I like it. So now I'm gonna wipe off the 433 brush. So I'm gonna use it again. And we are going to go in with the shade Snuggle Bug. And it's this pink, hot pink shade. And we're gonna place this, you know what? All over our lid. I'll normally put the um, I normally put a base booster or glitter glue down for my lid, but we're going to go ahead and see how it does without it, because to me, it gives it a more of a pop, and it stands out. That's just, you know, my preference. But we're here now, so we're just going to pack it and see how it works like this without it. It's new for me. So now we're going to just pack on the other eye. directly on the center and into the inner corner and it's a pretty fuchsia hot pink shade and it's complementing this deep shade that's in my crease I'm really liking that's pretty so I'm going to continue to pack it Pretty, pretty, pretty. And I'm just lightly building it. And you can see the pigmentation just kind of building really slowly. And I'm liking it. I like it. It's really pretty together. Gonna continue to lightly build on the other eye. And see all the caking up on the outside. So I'm going to continue with a little bit more. This time I'm adding a little bit more than normal because I'm trying to get it to pack so I don't be sitting here all day and have a good little bit of pigmentation. And we're just going to fluff it right in that center of the eye and blend it towards the inner corner and up a little bit towards the crease area so that's a lot better because I'm trying not to make this video drag it out hopefully for you no know, 20 and 30 minutes like I normally do <laughs> but you know your girl can talk up a storm so I'm gonna <laughs> pack this one a little bit more like I did the last one and we're going to pack it right in the center and then place it on the rest of the eye area going towards the inner corner. I am liking this. So, so pretty. That's like super, super pretty. So now we're going to, I'm just making sure everything is placed all over the lid. So now we're going to go back in with the first matte shade we start working with. And we're going to um, place a good bit of it on the tip of the brush. Because we want to deepen back up this outer V just a little bit. And go right in the crease area again with this shade but not the inner corner yet. So we're going to do the same thing for the other eye. Pack it back on that outer V and go directly into the crease area but not all the way to the inner corner yet so now i am going to wipe the brush off again because we're going to blend the edges once again and then we're going to blend the edges and marry the two shades together and you want to lightly, lightly fluff these shades. You don't want to just um, dig at it. You want to lightly, lightly blend them together with the tip of the brush. And I'm just lightly blending in circular motions so I can diffuse the edges of 
the shadow. So now I'm going to go back in with this BH brush with no more shadow and just make sure we're packing what's left on it again and then blend the edges. This is so pretty. So now I'm going to, I did not want to use any shimmers, but I think I'm going to use, I want to use this pink shade at the top. So I am going to take my, I'm trying to find it, my Too Faced Glitter Glue. I'm going to pop just a little bit right in that inner corner so we can pop that pink shade right in there. Because I think that will like just do something for the look. And I didn't want to do that at first, but y'all know I love some glitter, so we're going to work with it. So I'm going to use my pinky finger rather than my ring finger. And stick the glitter glue right in the inner corner. And a little bit on the lid, but not going all the way over. We're just right there in that inner corner. That's what I mainly want it. Just so it'll pop when I place that shimmer. You want to make sure you um, blend that really, really good. So now we are going to go in with, I'm going to use this um, Jaclyn Hill brush, this little pencil brush, Morphe collab. And we're going to take that light shade, the first shade, and we're going to just pop it right in that inner corner and into the crease just to give a little bit of pop to it. Just a bit. You don't want too, too much. I like that just a little bit. And the same thing for this eye. I'm going to go right in the crease, but not too high up. This is pretty. Because y'all know I go in a whole different direction. <laughs> a whole, whole, whole different direction. Okay, so I think that should do it. And I'm going to lightly fluff in that crease area. Right where the shimmer is placed. So now we're going to go ahead and end this eyeshadow look. But I want to go back in with this 433 brush. And we're going to just blend the shadow from the crease directly in the inner corner to marry the glitter shadow with it and blend those two together. Okay, place it right in there. And I didn't add any more shadow to the brush, just using what was left on it. Okay, so this completes the eye look. I love how um, this eyeshadow, the matte shades, perform. Like I said, I used these shimmers in another look, but it would not let me be great. <laughs> so I was not able to film it. I started, but everything died on me. So I was not able to share that look. But I am going to try it again soon. So now I'm just cleaning up under my eye area and everything so I can make sure it's how I want it before I do the rest of my face. Okay, so I'm liking this. It's really, really pretty. I like it. I like it. So I think everything is perfect. But let me just take this brush one last time with no more shadows. Just make sure everything is blend it and it's just my preference and I'm just blending again in circular motions the entire crease area and the same thing on this eye and I didn't mean to drag this video out this long 
but I think when I wanted to throw that shimmer in there, it kind of drag it out a little bit longer. Okay, so this is the final eye look. I love how this has come together. So I'm going to do my norm and we're going to finish the rest of my face. And I will be back to show you guys my final look. See you guys in a bit. Welcome back. This is the final look. I love how everything came together. Like I said in the beginning, I love the formula in this menagerie i think i said it right because i will butcher some names but if i got it wrong correct me in the comment section um but again but this is a nice 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 eyeshadow palette like i said i used some shimmers the brighter colors in another video but unfortunately it did not work out the way i wanted to so i want to use the matte shades today and it is really really pretty i love this look i love how it came together it blended really good the application is really really good so for my lower lash line i um, applied the furry friend shadow the same shadow that we use in our crease area and i placed it on my entire lower lash line and then i went in with sugary sweet this beautiful I'm colorblind, y'all. <laughs> Beautiful burgundy. Was it burgundy? Purplish, pinkish, whatever type tone it is. But I love it. It's really, really pretty. And I popped that shade directly into the uh, inner corner of the lower lash line. So to highlight the inner corner, I use my Becca. It's an oldie but goodie eyeshadow. Well, highlighter palette. It can be eyeshadow highlighter palette. And it's the, um, I don't see the name on it. Y'all know I can't see anyway. Uh, I don't know. But it's this, I think it was a Christmas edition, I believe, when I bought it. But it has the highlighter shades in here. So for my inner corner highlight, I used the light pink shade. And to highlight my cheekbones today, I used those two champagne -y shades to highlight the cheekbones. Now to finish the rest of my face, I use my Milani. Um, I'm trying to find my other foundation that I mixed it with. My Milani um, in the shade, the Conceal Perfect, in the shade Fair. And I mixed it with, here it is, the Milani Conceal and Perfect, the shade Sand Beige. I mixed those two today to get the shade I have on. And then to highlight, I used this shade to highlight under my eyes which is the light fair it just say light light clear okay i don't know why i said fair it's clear um to bronze today i used my all-time favorite the black radiance in the shade milk chocolate finish i love 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 this bronze if you want an affordable nice pigmented blendable bronzer black radiance this is a nice, nice, nice bronzer. I love it. I'm always pulling it out. You can see I'm almost, almost on pan with it. I love this bronzer. But I also used it in addition to my next favorite bronzer. is the Juvia's Place uh, Duo Bronzer in Tan. And I use both of these shades as well. And you can see I've dug in that one pretty much too. I love these two bronzers together. Um... My eyelashes are some Amadon lashes. I don't remember the exact style, but this is the style. I'm going to see if I can find it on my Amazon channel. And if I can, I'm going to link it below. But they are really nice, light. They're not fluffy, but they're really light and lengthy, which I do like. And they're really, really dark. So that finishes the face. So for my lips, I used the... Bodyography in Rosewood, and it's like this mauvey matte lip liner. And I did use the Clarins Velvet Lip Perfector. What shade is this? It's a new shade. It just says number one. So it says this new shade. I think I got this in a boxy charm. I received this in a boxy charm. But I did top it with my Anastasia Saint Tropez lip gloss. So that is all I did to complete this look. I really, 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 really do love how this look turned out. And it matches my shirt 
perfectly like perfectly so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um and if you have not done so already please comment like and subscribe to your girl's channel and become a part of my youtube family here and i'll see you guys in my next video goodbye